This is the Scoop for Friday. I'm Sean Canan with the WMNF News Headlines. New College of Florida is sending hundreds of books to a landfill. The Sarasota Herald Tribune reports books including LGBTQ plus topics and religious studies were discarded yesterday. Collections of books from the now defunct Gender and Diversity Center were also discarded, but students and activists told the Herald Tribune those books were not purchased with state funds. Some people worked to save materials before they were thrown away. The Herald Tribune says the materials were driven away before students were notified. In the past, students were allowed to purchase any books leaving the college's libraries. When Tropical Storm Debbie was approaching Florida this month, the National Hurricane Center warned that our area would get heavy rain up to 12 inches and flooding. According to records analyzed by the Florida Trident, Manatee County officials have known for years that an aging and problem-plagued dam at Lake Manatee posed a threat to public safety, but they reduced outflow 48 hours before Debbie instead of increasing it ahead of the forecasted rainfall. It was only after Debbie's rain bands began to hit that Manatee officials increased the amount of water flowing out of the lake, but it wasn't enough, so officials decided to take drastic action, allowing millions of gallons of water to flow from the lake. Residents were given no warning about the release of water. Hundreds of people had to be evacuated afterwards and numerous homes were destroyed. Residents are angry and they demanded answers. You can read more on our website, WMNF.org. As summer weather continues to break records, UPS workers are feeling the heat. WMNF's Chris Young reports that drivers and warehouse workers are still waiting on heat protections that were promised to them last year. Gage LaCherity has been working with UPS for eight years. He's a member of the Teamsters, a labor union for freight drivers and warehouse workers. The Teamsters have advocated for new fans and warehouses and air conditioning in UPS trucks last year. In the back of the truck, it's it's straight up like an oven, you know, and God forbid you can't find the package that you're looking for and you're sifting around for, you know, 10, 15 minutes. Like, you're, that's that's dangerous. That's, that's super dangerous. According to CNN, UPS has not purchased any new vans with AC, despite a promise in the contract reached with the Teamsters union last year. LaCherity says new fans haven't been installed in the UPS warehouse in Tampa either. Yachasia Royales has been with UPS for seven years. It's real hot in there. They never cleaned it up. The fans is full of dust. I mean, it got so much dust mites for years and years and years. In a statement to WMNF, UPS officials say the company continues to purchase and deploy new vehicles with AC as quickly as possible. Adding UPS has also equipped the vast majority of vehicles with heat shields and enhanced air intakes to better cool the cargo area. Chris Young, WMNF News, Tampa. A Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office jail deputy was arrested this week on assault and battery charges. The Tampa Bay Times cites court documents that say that Corey Faircloth threatened his neighbor with metal bicycle handlebars and beat the man with his elbows and fists. The Sheriff's Office announced Faircloth's arrest on Wednesday, saying only that he had gotten into a dispute with his neighbor outside a Brandon home. This week, Florida revamped a lawsuit that challenges a new federal rule requiring more gun sellers to be licensed and run background checks on buyers, in part pointing to lower attendance at gun shows. Lawyers for the state raised the gun show issue because they said the rule is reducing tax revenue from the purchase of admission tickets. Last month, Biden administration attorneys argued that an initial version of the lawsuit should be dismissed because the state had not shown legal standing. That's an issue that lost tax revenue could address. The Florida Commission on Ethics is updating rules to carry out a controversial new law involving ethics complaints against public officials. The commission published notices this week in the Florida Administrative Register about a rulemaking process for the law that passed during this year's legislative session and was signed by Governor Ron DeSantis. The ethics law was controversial in part because it added more stringent requirements for people who file complaints. Nearly 700 acres of timberland and wetlands in Levy County will be shielded from potential development under a deal that Florida's Agriculture Commissioner announced yesterday. The deal involved the state paying $691,000 for a conservation easement on 690 acres west of the community of Gulf Hammock. It will be mostly sunny and hot today, but less humid. Highs will be in the low 90s. Mostly clear tonight, overnight lows in the low 70s. Tomorrow, mostly sunny and hot. Highs will be in the low 90s. I'm Sean Canaan with the WMNF News Headlines. This is The Scoop, recorded at WMNF Tampa.